progress. Previously on <laughs> Far Out Fiesta. I can't smurf. We're smurfing time on our show. Smurfing about the whole exercise fad. Exercise has never been smurfing to have any benefit. Welcome, Fidgety Smurf. Great to be here, Padre Smurf. Or there. <laughs> and really, it's great to smurf anywhere. It's smurf for me to sit still. <laughs> my skeleton fights with my skin. It wants to fly out. Then let's smurf right to it. You said you had an easy way to smurf 25,000 calories a day without even smurfing a sweat. That's right. Smurf that up. Smurf, smurf you have to do is 10 smurf ups, 20 dips, 25 smurf squats, 20 push ups, 50 crunches, 10 burpees, and 30 seconds of jump rope. Oh, how often? Every seven to 15 minutes. I smurf that and I die. Eight dips in. It's fitness for calling the smurf herd. <laughs> you can't smurf a work. Ah, you can't smurf the workout. It's your smurf. Just twenty-five thousand calories. Smurf approximately. Well, that seems like enough for a smurf night. If it burns less than seventy-five thousand calories, it ain't smurfing out of bed. Well, then, can I smurf you in bed? Who are you asking? Next up, it's another favorite of the show, Flashy Smurf, and he's here to smurf about this year's Smurfman's Ball. I have explosive diarrhea. You can smurf me in bed. Um, okay, so, like, that's the whole scene? Yes. Uh, Should we start over? Yes. Mm. Folks, you just scanned your e-boarding pass to the nonstop thrill ride of comedy. That is Far Out Fiesta, episode 253, The Padre Marf Show. The Smarfs are a colony of small lime green humanoid creatures who live in cheeseburger-shaped houses in marshes. And that's a very specific size. It's cheeseburger than hamburger size. Right on. Mofketeer, that's still me. <laughs> Mofketeer roll call. Get on off now. Fofketeer Richard Houghton. Fofketeer Nicole Hodges. Fofketeer Rob Hudspeth. Fofketeer Kristen Keith. Yes. Far out, y'all. Let's fiesta. The Padre Smurf Show is live in three. A one, a two, a one, two, three, four. And now, the Smurf you have all been smurfing for. Well, what, what about my trumpet and lasers intro? Maybe before the Smurf Marshall. Oh, great. I'll cool down the lasers for a minute. We'll be starting the show without the trumpet and laser intro. Bug. That's what I'm going to say when the show is bugging down. Damn, <laughs> that's good producing. Bug! I, only I may declare a bug. Smarf dudes and smarfettes, he's the smarf you've all been waiting for. Appearing this weekend at Smurfy Bone and Smarf Rapids, it's the one, the only, Padre Smurf! Oh, Smurf you so much, Smurfetta. Good evening, Unity. Hey, thank you for agreeing to another musicless show. Hey, when did I agree to that? I'm the Smurfing band leader. Who the Smurf am I supposed to lead? Bug! You had better not be bugging me, Mother Smurfer. Uh, I was bugging her. Smurfsy. <laughs> and the Padre Smurf show would, no, would be nothing without the standing Smurfetta. Oh, Padre Smarf, you're the stunning one. Now, once again, Smarf Nation, here comes Padre Smarf. Oh, Smarf to be here, Smarfs and other gender Smarfs. Right on. Bug. You bug me again, Mother Smarfer. Uh, what's in the news? What's in the news? So, Unity, our band leader, and I are, um... Well, 
Do not include me in your jokes. If you can't smarf my trumpet, if I can't smarf my trumpet on the show. So, Knack, my producer, you can now take at-home STD tests. The joke you're going to include me in? Uh, wait, that's the joke you're including me in? Bug! Marf care experts say the at-home STD kit is perfect for any Marf who smarfs to Marf their Marfs in the comfort of their own home. So this is what rock bottom looks like. Bug! Uh, that was supposed to be my monologue. Should I Marf over? Please, no. I got this. In addition to doing live spots for some of our Fmarf Mia sponsors, our guests will be Fmarf Olympians from the 20 Fmarf Me Fmarf Olympics. But first. Some Smarf told me some Smarf paid a record amount of money for an NFT. Some Smarf did pay a record amount of money for an NFT. More money than your puny Fmarf brain can imagine. Dina's Natalie Portman NFTs. We're out of damn beer. Are you smarfing around on me? Where are my car keys? Who smarfed the good porn? That smarf down the alley's greatest hits. Every smarf loves popsicles. And it's hard to really, it, it, it's hard to smarf really gross ones. But we figured it out. Grand scenes, one bite, and in the trash, vegetable popsicles. Can I play a sin from the commercial? Uh, air, air, air trumpets. Tonight's show is one you won't fire, you won't smurf to bail on. Forty seconds in. You may go a whole minute because tonight's show features gold smurfalists from the Smurf Olympics. Timely. Gold Smurfalists from the Smurflympics smurfing a little controversy. Ooh, do tell. Um, joining us first is... Oh, when did this become the Smurfsy Knack Smurf Show? Bug! Joining us first will be Fidgety Smurf, the Smurf proclaimed queen of race walking, who may have Smurfed sour on the sport. Later in the show, we'll Smurf uh, one of Race walking smurfing proponents. And sandwiched in between. More air trumpet unity, i.e. smurf your own smurfness. By the smurf, we decided not to sandwich them. Screw this. I'm going to smurf a big fat bull. I'll be in my trailer. Later, we'll smurf vigorous smurf, a hero of race walking, and finally, a ray of sunshine and smurf limpic trampolining, energizing smurf. But without further ado, we never smurfed any ado. Without further ado, fidgety smurf. Smurfs and other gender smurfs, it's fidgety smurf. Here to smurf, here to blow the smurf off of race walking. Welcome, fidgety. Um, excuse me. Give them back. Sorry. She took my shoes, my wallet, my passport, and my keys. Well, idle hands are the smurfs from Smurf Smurf. And sorry, I, I put the smurf to you coming out early. Smurf to be late. Fidgety smurf. Amen, sister. Um, did you buy a boat with my credit card? Smurf! The bank's smurfy to foreclose on my smurf! I need to smurf a phone call! Thank you for smurfing me, Padre Smurf! Good to see you, Smurfetta! Next smurf, the boat I bought was smurfed in an accident! Uh, you're wanted for smurf slaughter! Uh, you will probably need to make a phone call! Uh, what the smurf is a text warrant? For smurfs who don't know... Okay, everyone. What exactly smurfs race walking, not awkwardly running? Well, in race walking, one foot must always be in smurf with the ground. A violation of this rule is called lifting. Oh, and that rule must be really uh, strictly smurfed. Well, no smurfing way. It's simple to cheat in race walking. Some say the whole sport is a sham. I stop short of smurfing that, which is not a violation in race walking rules. It's no lifting the only rule. In addition to no lifting, the rules state that a smurf's advancing leg must smurf straight from the point of smurf with the ground until the athlete's smurf passes over it. So 
is that rule uh, easily exploited? Fourth, yes! Race walking is a sham! There, you heard it from me! A gold smurfalist! Holy crap! Later! Well, that's gonna make our last segment a little awkward. Uh, fidgety smurf, the constable is here. I need you to tell him I smurfed. Uh, nothing to smurf with. Fidgety, fidgety smurf. Uh, where did she go? Fidgety smurf. Ciao, fidgety smurf. What else we got, Padre smurf? Well, up next, we'll meet energizing smurf right after these vital smurfs from our sponsors. I have to start community service when the show ends tonight. Configure your own appetizers. You can almost smurf them. Configure your own pie. You can also smurf them. Configure your own cutlets, if you really want to. Ray Ray's digital TV dinners on mobile, tablet, and desktop. My car is so dirty that even smarfs from Illinois think it's ugly. What if I told you Eric will not only wash your car, but you can also smarf off in the water slide? That sounds smarftastic. Eric lives in his mom's garage. He washes cars with his smurf saliva and the water park. Well, it's it's smart for the puddle of urine. Eric's car wash and water slide. I need a ketchup. Smurf is more fancy than 70 royals and less inbred. I need a ketchup. Smurf can kill my wife and smurf it look like an accident. A fancy accident. I need a ketchup that when it smurfs out of a bottle, it's in the form of calligraphy. Latrice is insanely fancy ketchup. I smurf never think of a good gift for my brother. I smurf trouble thinking of a good gift for my sister. My brother is so hard to smurf for. I never know what to give them on special occasions. Brothers, send a digital fart to a sibling. Next up on tonight's Smurf, it's uh, the amazing Smurf Olympic Smurf medalist, Vigorous Smurf, who has a very special DVD chosen just for you that will change your pants. Life. A special DVD that will change your life, not your pants. The Pants Changing Lessons are a different DVD for a different smurf market. I don't smurf why I'm smurfing so much time talking about it either. I'm glad you're here, Vigorous Smurf. I believe you have a different take on race walking than our previous guest. Yeah, and my opinion is completely unbiased. Race walking is such a real sport. Copyright, trademark, patent, appended, incorporated. Not just here because you're selling a DVD of Race Walking's greatest hit. I wouldn't say I'm selling it. I'd say it's selling itself. There are almost four hits. More to the point, Daddy O. Is Race Walking a complete sham? Farflipism is a far philosophy of life, exalting and combining in a balanced whole the qualities of body, smurf, and mind. That isn't close to my smurfing question. Vigorous Smurf, you're not getting off that smurfily. I'd like you to go on the record. A uh, go on the record? Only if I can sing harmonies. Telling a smurf exactly how race walking is anything more than weak and flaily running. Flaily? <laughs> that smurf's lots of goony arm flailing. There is a smurf ton of goony arm flailing. Has my whole life been a lie? Yeah, probably. Keep talking to Marfie anyway. Dude, we have time to fill. Race walking Marf's peak physical conditioning combined with a will to endure walking for nearly four hours. It's still flaily. Flaily? This ability to endure this walk is not done for Marfie's fame or glory. Well, how could it be? Still sounds flaily. Race walkers, we smurf, we aren't the event for fame or glory. No smurf, still flaily. Race walking smurfs from a passion to push our limits and find our smurf, our potential is. I have your answer. 
flaily. Their potential is flaily walking that looks to reasonable folks like smurfly walking, but sometimes running. Please, just buy my DVDs. I owe a lot of big, mean, smurfs money. And we'll be rolling right into our next guest. Speaking of rolling, I'll be rolling a big fatty and smoking it in my trailer. Smurfetta, how many times have I mentioned to you that Smurf is not legal at the federal level in Smurf land? Quit harshing on my buzz, Smurf. I'll be back in a minute. Really high. Um, are you done with me? Um, yes, unless you want a co-host. Mine just wouldn't get high. Uh, no. If I'm done with my segment, I have nothing left to Smurf for. What's going on? Where did Vigorous Smurf go? He had a smurfy, crazy look on his Smurf. Oh well. Spilled a Smurf milk. Our final guest of the night is yet another Smurf Olympian. Since the other Smurf Olympians were so entertaining. Quit it. This one is a champion in the sport <laughs> in the sport of, of trampolining. Sorry. Sorry. The sport of trampolining. Up next. It's energizing smurf. Our final guest tonight may be able to smurf this show out of its epic nosedive. Um, that's a big ask. It seems highly unsmurfly. Mm -hmm. Nonetheless, smurfing us now on our stage is Smurf Olympics Gold Smurfedalist. In what event? Trampolining. <laughs> <laughs> okay, 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 okay. Everybody be cool. Okay. <laughs> Joining us at a Padre Smurf show, it's Smurf Olympics, Gold Smurfalist in Smurf Trampolining, Energetic Smurf. Wow, well, you know, it's like it's great to Smurf here. Hey, hey, I have a question for you, Energetic Smurf. But a question for my staff first. Mac, Unity, who do you smurf can keep a straight face the longest while smurf taught um, hey. smurfs about trampolining. <laughs> Winner gets a half day off with pay. I'm in. I am so going to win this. Um, screw you, man. I'm smurfing this. Okay, is any of this supposed to be about me? Uh, yeah, 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 yeah. We're smurfing to that part. Maybe if you stopped interrupting. Energetic Smurf, you want a golden Smurf at all in trampolining? Yeah. Anything? <laughs> well, okay. No, thank you, Padre Smurf. Trampolining is a sport which is enjoyed by gymnasts. <laughs> Anything? All right, keep going. <laughs> Smurf us more about what a, tramp about what a trampolinist does. <laughs> they smurf acrobatics while jumping on a trampoline. Oh, acrobatics? Like in the circus? Anything? Hey, hey keep going. Keep going, emergency smurf. Uh, energetic. Please, please keep going. The sport of trampolining involves smurfing on a trampoline to heights up to 24 feet. It's at these smurf near heights that most smurfsome neck injuries occur. Anything? Huh? All right. Keep going. Tell us more about what, uh, what a trampolinist does. Well, you know, like we trampoline athletes smurf acrobatic movements such as twists and somersaults in midair. <laughs> <laughs> I won, loser. Now I'd like to talk about the charity work I'm doing for this amazing Yeah, you know, we wish we had time. See, that's the only reason I agreed to smurf on your show. Because I smurf, you just wanted to laugh at me. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you'll see. You'll all see. The sport of trampolining smurf be huge. College bowling huge. Mark my words. No, no, stop that. I'm the only one that can have people mark their words. Shoo, shoo, shoo. We'll smurf things up with a smurf debate right after these words from our sponsors. I want to go to space, but I'm too smurf. Space is so majestic, so inspiring. The spacesuits are smurfsome, and so are the pea bladders. I'm given to psychotic episodes and can't always recognize smurfs real and what isn't. 
glorious pretend space travel. I need a sloppy joe, but I want it to believe in pedophiles that live in the center of the earth. I love sloppy joes. But when I get done eating them, I want my whole house to look like a crime scene. <laughs> I want my sloppy Joe to check itself in and out of rehab. Greg's insanely sloppy Joes. There's a smurf at my office who won't shut his mouth. I want a crowbar smurfed out of a cannon at his head. My aunt drank the last milk when she knew I wanted it for my cereal. I want five harpoons pointed at her taint. My neighbor won't stop smurfing his lawn clippings in the alley behind my fence. I smurf an evil reanimated scarecrow to disembowel him. Radical Co! Put a jerk in danger! And now, it's time for everybody's favorite smurf of the show, Smurf Bait. In our Smarf Bait segment, two of our crew members have a Smarf debate on an important and serious issue. I bet it's not that serious. Uh, what's the subject being debated? Um, should all Smarfs hate kittens and puppies? Ooh, that is serious. Smarf and I will take a side. And Jack and I will take a side. Yeah, the loser side. Oh, shut up! We flipped a quarter before the show to Fmarf who would Fmarf which side of the issue. And Team Fmarfetta and Padre Fmarf will be arguing that kittens and puppies should be loved and not tortured. Um, nobody Fmarfed me about any coin flip. Nick and I Fmarf will argue in favor of torturing kittens and puppies? <laughs> That's right. Uh, we're not Fmarfing that. Well, then you forfeit. Uh, yeah. Uh, as you both know, forfeiting uh, Smarfs, yeah. we will have a smear campaign launched against uh, you in all major social media channels. Uh, Elaborating on how you support Smarfing kittens and puppies. Your toast on social media. I never thought this segment was a good idea anyway. Yeah, it's already started, and they're calling for my balls on Smurfbook. Well, that was quite a show. In fact, I'm smurfed out. I'm taking next week off. Nobody will notice. Yeah, the ratings are usually better when he's gone. Everybody has more talent, but I'm counting on Aneurysm City for Padre Smurf any day now. You know, I hear Aneurysm City has great mass transit. Sure does. It may have already stopped at your station. Hey, can I play you out? Uh, not yet. Uh, we have to thank our guests. Really? They didn't contribute much. Well, yeah, true. Smarf them. Well, I mean, what do we do? We have a few seconds to kill. You had to say that. Well, that would give me extra time for my triple trumpet regalia. Smarf that. I'm pulling a fire alarm. And this has been Far Out Fiesta episode 1053, mm. the Padre Smarf show. Smurf Olympics edition, technically. I have been your host and humble narrator. Please, 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 please give it up for our wait, 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 amazing who are you? cast. Wait, wait. What? Who is our who is our humble narrator? What's his I name? I am. I am Richard Houghton. Richard, Hi, Hi. Yay, Richard Houghton. Hey. Now, please let us give it up for our amazing cast, Rob Hudspeth. Woo, buddy. Kristen <laughs> Keith. Hey, it's you. Hey, you. And special Woo. guest artist, Nicole Hodges. Yeah, we now, before we go, uh, I've got some, I've got three very, very important questions. Um, very important. Not, but I don't, I, they're not personal. Uh, but at what age did you uh -oh. learn to do the following things? Mm. At what age did you learn to do the following mm. things? Uh, first one is swim. Second one is ride a bike. Third is drive. So I can go first. Uh, I learned to swim at three because my parents got a pool when I was three. <laughs> so <laughs> it's pretty important at that point that I know how to swim. 
Uh, we were not allowed to ride bikes until we were in third grade because, of course, it's very safe for an eight-year-old to ride the mile to school on a bike. But anyway, we were not allowed to ride <laughs> until we were in third grade. So I, I learned how to ride a bike when I was eight and then almost 16, but I was 15 when I learned to ride a learned how to take drivers ed right up until my 16th birthday and then i got my license on my 16th birthday so Kristen, i will ask you the same questions at what age did you um learn to swim i might have been like five or six okay did you and take then, swimming did you take swimming lessons uh we had a friend of the family who taught got it how to swim that's cool and uh, okay the bike yeah uh, maybe six or seven okay like that cool and, and then drive. to drive yes i was 28 28 almost okay. getting close to 30 <laughs> <laughs> okay fair yeah. enough it's true <laughs> all right I'm okay with that. That's <laughs> At least you can Rob. ride your bike. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> At what age did you learn to swim, Rob? Um, maybe when I was ten or eleven months old. Wow. My That's mom. My mom had me. In, in, there, there, there was a something called water babies. Ah. Okay. Uh, yes. So I was. I was a water baby. So All right. I, guess I was. Instant. Doing some swimming before I was. Yeah, but you weren't doing like, you know, that kind of stuff. Well, I wasn't right? drowning. How about that? <laughs> He's still like here, man. <laughs> so I was doing with... this. Yeah. And I'm still attached. Help yeah. me. Yeah. <laughs> uh, bicycle uh, with training wheels. I was yes. probably four. Oh, I probably nice. didn't get the training wheels off till I was maybe. Five. Okay, well, it was earlier then if, you, if you're counting training wheels. I was, yeah. counting, I was counting training wheels. Yeah, I mean, I, I, st I still have mine on, so I mean, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> that still counts of then. Of man. And at what age Hell did yeah. you learn to drive? I was maybe 14. <coughs> How old? 14. Okay. Sure. I, mean, I, mean, I mean, it wasn't like really driving anywhere legally, but I mean, out in the country, out in East Texas, I mean, yeah. Yeah. Let's get on the old country roads and drive drive along. So yeah, that makes sense. And special guest artist Nicole Hodges, same questions. Oh. At what age did you learn to swim? Well, I'll, I'll preface it with this. So I, I'm gonna start with bike learning to ride a bike. I did that about like eight or nine. Like okay. it took me it took, it took me a minute to get those training wheels off. Like Rob, I, I might yep. still have them attached somewhere. <laughs> and then I couldn't wait to drive because I used yeah. to. I did that you know rural Texas thing where I sat in my dad's lap and he ran the pedals and I yeah. Did so like at 7 a.m. when the DMV opened on my 16th birthday, I was like right there ready yeah. to go. But do. the swimming thing, yes. um, when I was about like five or six, I almost drowned. So I was at a party with my parents oh, and no. I was on the floaty and didn't know how to swim. And I floated to the edge and some drunk lady thought I wanted her to push me back in. So oh, she no. me back in. Oh, but this gosh. really awesome French dude like dove in the pool and wow. like pulled me up and rescued me. And I thought, oh, Was I just never learned at the time. <laughs> <laughs> like, but get this, I was just cleaning out my garage and I found that I too took a water babies class. So somewhere wow. between water babies and like five years old, I just forgot wow. how to swim. And so I would like hang on the side and then put band-aids on all my toes. Cause I had to like hang on the side, like a little <laughs> monkey, but, like, down everywhere. <laughs> I actually, this is going to sound made up, but it's not. Uh, the person that I took swimming lessons from his name was Winston Churchill. Of course. Really? Not the, not clearly not the Winston Churchill, but yes. yes. I learned, sure. And he, yeah. he literally I, threw I me in the pool, basically, <laughs> and I swam. But I was oh, the youngest Richard, one. That just explains so many things right it now. It does. It really does. You're on to the end. To <laughs> well, yeah, 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 it does. You're right. <laughs> uh, does anybody have anything they would like to plug coming up? Anytime wait, soon? Did he, did he wait, 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 w
All right. Um, I have an anime that is out now through awesome. Funimation called Moriarty the Patriot. And cool. I have, yes, it's a Sherlock Holmes based awesome. anime. Cool. So much fun doing it. I'm three different voices. That's so awesome. I'm three well, what's different characters? Voices. Um, I am, I play this kind of like flighty English girl that hits on Sherlock. Very and then fun. I also play Countess Moriarty. Awesome. And then the third one, I can't reveal because it reveals a big reveal, yeah. but it's towards oh, the end of the season. I know, right? So I'm like, cool. just, it's something big that happens. So if you're into it, so there's that. Um, awesome. I would also like to plug our other special guest, uh, Kristen's Cleavage for being here tonight. Yes. That <laughs> yes. Oh, oh. <laughs> yes. Yeah, that, we can't forget Kristen Cleavage. <laughs> Absolutely not. What no, else? I, I still have one, but I'll wait. Does anybody else? All right. Uh, I'm still concentrating on the whole uh, special other special guest. <laughs> I'm, I'm a little flustered right now. I'm trying to think. There uh, is a Show Me the Shorts festival on uh, September 28th, which is a Tuesday. Mm -hmm. uh, our friends at Little Spark Films are putting it on. Uh, the Torturer yes. is having its, I guess, non-festival premiere locally at uh, the Studio Movie Grill in Arlington. Also another film that friends of the show are a part of. It was myself and Jeff uh, Fenter. And I can't recall what her name is now. It used to be Kelly Crowder. L. Uh, can somebody yeah, help me? Changed it a uh, yeah. times. She. L and Natalie, and I'm forgetting that. Yeah. I'm liking on Natalie's last name also. Jones. But that film will be there. Thank you. That film will be there. <laughs> and I wouldn't be surprised if some other um, Little Spark stuff that had us, maybe the Lament stuff, I don't know, that might show up there as well. So if you're not doing anything Tuesday the 28th, uh, there's actually a DVD swap. No, a VHS swap that starts at 6, and then the screening starts at 7.15. I don't in know whether this, it costs anything or not. In this VHS swap, will they take my old videos of me tap dancing when I was five? I will. I'll take them. <laughs> <laughs> Only if they've been rewound. Yeah. Yeah. You gotta be, be kind. kind. Be kind, rewind. <laughs> yeah, if it's not rewound, it ain't, ain't putting up with that. Nope. Uh -uh. No, None sir. That. I rewind <laughs> all my DVDs these days too. I do. I am. <laughs> that is responsible. That is and good DVD care. That is good. What, so. what, what a nice fellow. All right, cool. Anything else? Thanks again, Nicole. Thank you, you for having it. me. Thank friend. you, Nicole. We'll see awesome everybody stuff. next week. Good night. <laughs>